hi guys this is Vivek here welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to talk about Ferranti effect and its reasons we all know what is Ferranti effect Ferranti effect is defined as an effect that is seen on a transmission line when the receiving end side has the voltage greater than the sending end side and this happens when their load on the receiving end side is either zero or where the line is very lightly loaded so under such situations what happens that the receiving end voltage is seen to be greater than the sending end voltage and it was di discovered by a scientist named Ferranti and hence the name is called Ferranti effect. Here in this video we will be discussing about why this Ferranti effect happens, why the receiving end voltage all of a sudden goes beyond the sending end. Let's start. Before we uh, start with our discussion we need to look up at a transmission line what are the factors that we see when we are looking for a transmission line the answer is four most important factors sending and voltage receiving and voltage sending and current and the receiving and current okay these four factors are very much important when we are talking about a transmission line and somehow what we want we want to form an equation Okay, we want to form an equation where we can relate the sending end voltage as a function of receiving end voltage and current and we also want another equation where we can relate the sending end current as a function of receiving end voltage and current. Why this such two equations are very much important because if you, if you see that if we can relate the sending end voltage and the sending end current with the receiving end voltage and current like this then we can get to know about a number of things like the sending end power, the receiving end power, the sending end power factor, the receiving end power factor, active power, reactive power, all these kind of analysis depends upon this factor. So it's very much important that we form an equation where we can relate these two together like this. Okay. So to relate them together, I write a very generic equation that is Vs equal to A Vr plus VIR. Okay. I just said that the sending end voltage is related to receiving end voltage and current with a factor A and B. And similarly I will write IS equal to CVR plus DIR. Okay. CVR plus DIR. Now the question arises that okay we know about the sending end voltage and current and all these things but what is this A, B, C and D? This A, B, C, D are together called transmission parameters which is shown by a matrix T like this A, B, C, D. Now we will see what are these A, B, C, D. We will find out the value of A, B, C, D because the definition of Ferranti effect, the reasons of Ferranti effect will be analyzed with the help of this A, B, C, D parameters. So to analyze this ABCD parameters, we need to form a model of a transmission line. Okay, so let me form a model. A transmission line has some resistance, some inductance within the line and there is a line to earth capacitance between the line and the earth. Okay, so this is our sending end side. We call it as VS like this and this is the receiving end side. Let me uh, draw this like this. So. Uh, the receiving end side has some voltage, let's say Vr. Okay. So the receiving end side has the voltage Vr and the sending end side has the voltage Vs. This model is called receiving end C model. Why it is called a receiving end C model? It is called receiving end C model because you can see on the receiving end side we have a C that is a capacitance. Okay, and that's why it is called as a receiving end C model. Now in this receiving end C model, here you can see that the sending and current is going IS. Here the current that is going is called IC that is line charging current and here the current that is going into the load is receiving and current that is IR. Now this is all about our analysis. Here we call this capacitance as a shunt admittance. We don't call it capacitance. We call it a shunt admittance. It is given by Y equal to J omega C. Okay, so y equal to j omega c or we can say that y equal to jb. Okay, where b is called omega c and we call this r and j omega l together. This r and j omega l is called equal to z. z equal to r plus j omega l. 
okay so keep this in mind that y equal to jb and z equal to r plus j omega l so now from all this equation what do we want we want to form an equation like this like vs equal to and is equal to okay so we want to form two equation where we can relate the sending and voltage and the sending and current now just look at this picture the first thing that we can see here is that the sending and current is here that is going uh, here and is being divided into two parts that is ic and ir okay so it is being divided into ic and ir so we can definitely write that is equal to ic plus ir okay what is ic ic is the current that is going into the capacitance so if uh, v by z if i write like this v by z that is equal to current and i can also write v times y that is voltage times admittance is also current so just by that i can write here that if ic is nothing but vr times y plus ir why i am saying vr because the capacitor is connected on the receiving and voltage side and that's why it will have the voltage equal to the receiving and voltage so we have formed one of our equations if you can see closely that is equal to vr times y plus ir so one of our equation has been formed and this is what we wanted we wanted to make an equation where we can relate the sending and current equal to the receiving and voltage and the receiving and current and we have finally did that so this is our c let me mark it this is our c in the equation this one and what is our d because you can see there is dir so dir is not there so we can multiply one so d will be equal to one okay so we can write here that c is equal to y and d is equal to one is it fine so we can write that now let us again look at our picture so finally we have made an equation where the sending and current and the receiving and current has been related now we need to form an equation where we can relate the sending and voltage and the receiving and voltage so if i write it over here now you can see that vs by kvl you can see vs will be equal to how much is times r plus j omega l or if i say is times z okay so it will be is times z plus vr is that okay because this is the receiving and voltage so it will be equal to is times z plus vr okay so let me write it separately vs equal to is times z plus vr okay now is we just now saw that is is equal to vr y plus ir so let me put it here vr y plus ir z plus vr okay so we put this vr y plus ir so if i again rearrange this all equation so i will have the another equation that i wanted vs equal to 1 plus yz vr plus ir z is it fine you can see that vs equal to 1 plus yz vr plus irz so this is the second equation or you can say the first equation that we wanted that is the sending and voltage is related to receiving and voltage and receiving and current now you can certainly say which is a and b here this is our a okay and this is our b so a equals to 1 plus yz let me write all the factors here a equals to 1 plus yz okay and b equals z b equals z c is equal to y and d is equal to 1 okay you can see here that c was equal to y and d was equal to 1 okay so we have all these four factors in our hand now the question arises about the Ferranti effect how the Ferranti effect is related to all these factors actually it's not related to all these factors but it is related to this factor a how let us see for the case of Ferranti effect we saw that the receiving end current should be equal to zero that is it should not be loaded so if ir equal to zero so the equation the first equation that we saw becomes vs equal to avr because the vir term will be also equal to zero or we can say that vr will be equal to vs upon a just keep this in mind now you again saw that what was a 
in the last slide we saw that a was equal to 1 plus yz so if i say that let's say r is equal to 0 okay let me move to another so if i say that r equal to 0 let's say that the resistance of the line is 0 which is in the ideal condition or in practical situation the resistance of the line is very small so we generally neglect it so we, if we say that r is equal to 0 so we will have z equal to z equal to only j omega l okay or you can, i can just say j xl and i will have y equal to j b okay so the a becomes equal to 1 plus y z that is 1 plus j b times j x l okay so it will be j b times j x l now 1 plus j b times j x l it will be 1 minus b x l why because j times j is j square which is equal to minus 1 now this a equal to 1 minus b x l this a is equal to 1 minus b x l incidentally this b x l term is greater than 0 and it is less than 1 okay so bxl becomes less than 1 and hence what happens is that a becomes less than 1 okay and as a is less than 1 what we just saw that we are equal to vs upon a here okay so we are equal to vs upon a that means we are equal to vs upon a that means if a is less than 1 then vr will be greater than vs and that happens under the situation when the line is not loaded or it is lightly loaded and this is what is our Ferranti effect and hence we have proved it. This B times XL in a practical line is always less than 1 and when 1 minus BXL is done that gives us A and 1 minus BXL is obviously less than 1 that means A is less than 1 and hence the receiving end voltage becomes greater than the sending end voltage. So this is all about Ferranti effect. The next thing we if we see here is that we have the another equation that is is equal to cvr plus dir if ir becomes equal to 0 so we have is equal to cvr the most interesting part of here is that the receiving end current is 0 but still we can see that the sending end current is not 0 why because if you clearly remember the diagram it was r l and c like this so even if there is no load, even if there is no load, where this sending and current is going, it is obviously going into the capacitance and hence this current becomes then called the line charging current because it helps in charging this capacitance that we have between the line and the earth. Okay. So let me clear this. So IS equal to CVR. We just saw that V R equal to V S upon A. Okay, so we can say that I S becomes equal to C by A V S. C by A V S. Okay, so this is no, no, no longer known as I S. This is then called line charging current or IC. So I hope in this video I made you clear about what is Faraday effect, what is line charging current. If you found this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any feedback, any suggestion, any query, you can put them in the comment section below. If you want to get this all slides as a PDF, then I will provide the link to a PDF file where you can get all these slides uh, in complete order. Okay. So I will provide that link in the description down below so you can download it from there and do not forget to take part in the polls that we are giving up in here in the I section and uh, let us know your feedback about this video. This is Vivek Chaube signing off. Thank you.